Say E A G L E S Eagles. Say fly, Eagles fly. What's going on, man? You know who it is. You know what it is. It's your boy, Fully Fresh, a.k.a. The General here reporting for duty. Also, a.k.a. Four for the Better Bird podcast, man. You know how we get down. Yo, that nation, what's going on? What's going on, everybody? How we feeling? How we feeling? I got mixed emotions today. You know what I mean? Calm down, calm down, y'all. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to go in my, I'm not going to go in my rant. You know, I think I ran it enough. Or maybe I didn't. I might go in it. I might go in it a little later in the video. But today, right now, I'm going to talk about some good. I'm going to talk about some good that I've seen. We're going to get into some bad, but I'm talking about some good. Honestly, we already know what the good is. We already see it. We see it. And 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 shout out to uh, Travis Fogel, man. Shout out to Travis Fogel. He said seven years ago he can't wait to sit, tell his mom he made it. Well, listen, make that uh, make that phone call, big fella. It looked like he made it. Ten for, ten for 152. Come on, man. Ten for 152. And a tub. Come on, man. Shout out to him. Shout out to Carson Wentz for continuously trusting this guy. And this is what and 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 and, and you know what's crazy? Maybe Fulcrum's just a better player. That's what it seems like. But my thing is the way that they was using Fulgrim, that's how I thought that they would use J.J. I think white side. But you see Fulgrim's act uh his his route running is way better. His route runner is better than I thought, man. Shout out to him, man. This dude look like the, uh, he looked like the complete package. Now, everybody want to say, fresh, it's only two weeks, yada, yada. I ain't trying to hear none of that. Because in two weeks, he has done better than every other wide receiver has done in five weeks. So don't give me none of that. Until I'm proven wrong, I'm on a high horse with this kid, man. I'm on a high horse with this kid. Let me break it down to y'all. Let me tell y'all. The numbers. You know I'm really not a numbers guy. I'm an eye test guy. But I'll give you the numbers real fast. You want to know who leads our uh, who leads our team in yards? That would be Mr. Fulgham. That would be Mr. Fulgham with 209. You know what I mean? You know who is next? Mr. Reliable. Mr. Reliable, Greg Ward. You know who's after that? Zach Ertz. Well, Greg Ward got 172. Zach Ertz got 145. Zach Ertz is supposed to be leading with all these injuries. Zach Ertz has played every game. But the attitude from Zach Ertz is not going to get it. I'm going to get into Zach Ertz in a minute. And more and more as the week goes on. We probably going to go live and talk about him. Seriously. I got some things to talk about with Mr. Zach Ertz. But anyway, let me get back to it. After Zach Ertz is Mr. Dallas Goddard, who only played really two games, one and a half, who has been hurt. Um, then you got Deshaun Jackson. He got 121. Uh, Miles Sanders, he got 97. And uh, and uh, Rhaegar, who only played a game in a quarter, got 90, 96. So when you look at it, for him to eclipse everybody at the wide, not just the wide receiver position, every position when it comes to receiving, tight ends, running backs, wide receivers, he eclipsed everybody in two games. So what is there for me not to be happy about? What is there for me not to sit there and say, we got a stud? This dude looks like a stud at the wide receiver position. Like the blocking, he seems like the, a complete package, y'all. I don't right now I don't know who to compare him to. I wanted to say Julio that I see in him, but I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know. The dude, dude is what, 6'4? 6'3, 6'4, something like that. 215. Go up and get the football. Can run routes. Can block. Can do all the dirty work that you want him to do. And he's not one of these guys that came from a big school, old Dominion. So, you know, I ain't going to say you don't got to worry about because when people get money, they start different. Look what happened with Antonio Brown. He was quiet as heck his rookie season. And then when he started getting paper, he started going crazy. That money changed people, man. All right, so. Back to Fulgham. Uh, it seemed like he's a quiet kid. Seemed like a humble, quick kid. We don't know. You know what I mean? Hopefully, hopefully he is. But it looked like we found one, y'all. And I still believe in Rhaegar. 
I still believe in Rhaegar. When he come back, you know what I mean? If you got Rhaegar, see, here's when things get dicey. And it's a good problem to have. You got Rhaegar. You still got Deshaun Jackson. Everybody's saying get, uh, we don't need Deshaun Jackson, yada, yada, yada. I beg to differ. I'm just saying you don't need Deshaun Jackson to play as much as you need, that you wanted him to, probably the beginning of the season. And that might cause problems. So I get what people are saying, because that really might cause problems when you think about it. He's already mad about the receptions that he's not getting. He's already mad about the targets that he's not getting. He mad that the ball got overthrown to him a couple times in the game. So do we have a problem at wide receiver? To me, it's a good problem, because you're paying these guys, so they got to play. Alshon Jeffrey, is he going to play? Because it seemed like we found our replacement for the X. For that, it seemed like we found our replacement for Alshon Jeffrey. Younger, faster, probably stronger. Who knows? Like I said, it's only two games, but once again, you got to look at the defenses that he played against. These were supposed to be defenses that we couldn't score on. Shout out to Carson Wentz. I, 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 I still can't believe last night I had to take a whole half an hour out of the live to defend Carson Wentz yesterday. What did he do wrong? Stop looking at the papers and seeing and looking at the stats and saying Carson Wentz threw another two picks. That's not really what happened. It's misleading and this bullcrap is hogwash. First of all, that's why I gotta get on Mr. Zach Ertz. First of all, you don't sell, you don't sell. I understand you got bumped off the rub, but it's like you got bumped and didn't even care. You just threw your hands up like, oh, that's over. How about you fight? How about you at least, if you're not gonna fight, flop. Come on, man, that's 15 yards. We couldn't, we, you know, we, we need it. Or five yards, should I say. And the first down that we needed. I see fight from these young kids. I see fight from this offensive line. I see fight from our running back. I see fight from our quarterback. Zach Ertz, why can't you give me that same energy? If I'm Carson Wentz, I'm going to tell you just like this. Before the trade deadline, I'm hollering at the front office. I said, look, I'll say, look, I'm going to talk to Zach. I'm going to see what's going on with him. I'm going to go straight to Zach on some man-to-man stuff. Y'all, you know, they, they religion boys and all that kind of stuff. So come at him. You don't got to come at him crazy. Just come at him. Hey, hey, listen, man. Let me holler at you for a minute. Are you with us? Is you with me? Because I put my body on the line. I put everything on the line every single game. I need you to do the same. Are you with me? And if he gives you an answer or some type of emotion with his body that you ain't feeling, oh, yeah. Yeah, you got to holler at the front office, big dog. You got to holler at the front office. Time to get you a body here. I need Zach Ertz to be better. Zach Ertz looks like a shell of himself. Zach Ertz looks like he's getting older. But it is, I don't think it's that. This contract is looming over his head. It should be no reason why he only has 145 yards five games into the season. That's a problem, Houston. Philly, should I say? Excuse me. That's a problem, man. We got other problems. Jim Swartz. I'm going to get into Jim Swartz. I'm, I'm, trust me. I got some thing. I got to pull up on Jim Swartz. I got to pull up on him. Oh, man. Listen, I don't. I blame Jim Swartz more than I blame Nathan Gary. Nathan Gary got put out there. What you want him to do? We all know he stinks. Shout out to Philly 500. He stinks. He booty juice. You know what I mean? He's boo garbage. Whatever you want to call a kid. All of the above. Yeah. But you continuously put him out there. And then I'm hearing people say, oh, well, this guy hurt, that guy hurt. And man, it's other people you could have put out there. You could have put Kayvon Wallace out there. I can't wait for Will Parks to come back. Maybe he turns around his defense. I don't know. But the more and more that I look at it, Jim is hindering everything that's going on with this defense, man. You have guys... You, you you got your front line getting tired every single game by the middle of the game because there is no excitement because they get pressure in the beginning. And then after a while, what does the offense do? They switch it up. They start doing quick plays. What do you do? The same thing. You do the same thing. 
having your corners play off coverage is not going to work, and the defensive line is never going to eat. They have to play bump and run. They got to play up on the line with these guys. Throw their routes off. Push them. Do something. Give them that half a second. If you trust your defensive line that much, you should be able to trust them to say, you know what? No matter what corner's out there, I want y'all to push this guy. Throw the route off just a half a second, and that's probably all you need because the pressure is there. If I see it, why don't you, Jim? Doug, Doug, real fast. Um, The field goal. The field goal at the end of the game to try to go for 57. At first, I ain't going to lie. I, 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 I said I probably wouldn't have did it, but I'm not mad that you did it. But then when you look at it, the defense was not stopping them. The defense was not stopping them. They was like, Ben, ben was like 13 and 13 on third down. Like, he was like 13-13, 145, and some old crazy stuff. Like, in that situation, you got to know situational football. I think you might have had to go with the fourth and five. Because you ended up giving them the ball the same place any damn way. So I think you probably would have had to go. I probably would have had to go with fourth and five. Knowing that my defense would not stop these guys, especially if you give it to them in the middle of the field. Special teams is a problem. Boston Scott, you need to take a step back. We need so I can't wait for Regar to come back. We need somebody else filling these punts. We need somebody else doing kickoffs. Like I like, I don't know. I don't. I don't, I don't know what happened to you. I don't. I don't. I don't know, man. I don't know what's up with Boston Scott. I ain't gonna lie to you. Like, I don't know if he's not being used right. I thought he was gonna have a better impact than he having this year. You know what I mean? But like I said, it's some good. But we're going to break down every single week. I'm going to come at somebody. And 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 after I watch the tape again, y'all, watch the game and watch the All-22, I am going to break down every single, not every single position, but I'm going to break down the bad, basically the bad of all this week, what I've seen, man. And it's a lot to go around. I'm probably going to holler at Doug. I know for sure I'm going to holler at Jim Schwartz. I know I got to talk to Nathan Gary. I know that I got to talk to Howie Roseman. Yeah, that's what it's going to have to come down to. But we got some good going on too, man. I like what I'm seeing from Carson. Carson played the best game, the best game of of of, of the year. It's not really saying much, but he did have a he did have a QBR. Everybody wants to talk this QBR stuff. He had a QBR of 81 with having the two the two interceptions where I feel as though it wasn't even his fault at all. First of all. Doug, once again, it's 4th and 20. What are you trying to prove? What if Carson Wentz would have got hurt in that 4th and 20? Punt the damn ball. You're not going to win the game. You want to try to, uh, you be aggressive at the dumbest p spots. I don't understand it. I don't understand it, man. A lot of people want to get on J.J. I think a white side for flexing after he caught a pass. I don't, I mean, I get it, but I got other things. I got other things that, that was more important to me on that drive. The rest was hard. Refs, oh my gosh, it's horrible. And I'm not trying to make an excuse that we lost the game. That's the reason we lost the game. But, man, that ticky tack I don't even know what that was. That phantom, I mean, it went both ways, too. It's, it's, it's a couple things I'm going to talk about with the refs, too. I'm going to get that done, man. Uh, that ticky tack that ticky tack uh, P.I. on Darius Slay in the, in the first quarter, man, that was bull crap. Um... Fulton going out of balance at the end of the half, and they still running the clock. That was bull crap. We seen well. We heard that there was a that there was a face mask, and Malik Jackson did this, and and we seen none of it. So we don't know. Man, it was horrible. And I mean, they missed the touchdown on Pittsburgh, and too. You know what I mean? That that pass interference, that pass offensive pass interference. That was bad. That was bad. I like ah. The rest, the rest, the rest is horrible. This game, man. And like I said, it's not an excuse. It's not. I don't feel as though they're the reason that we lost, but they definitely gave Pittsburgh a lot of momentum from the rip. They gave them a lot of momentum, man. But we wasn't disciplined. That's another thing that we need to get at, man. That's another thing that 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 Jim and Doug, but especially Jim, need to get on your team about. Y'all got eight penalties out of nine. Dumb penalties. Flesh your cocks. How the heck do you have... How do you have a penalty 
and you're right there at the ball. The ball is right in front of your face. If you don't see it get snapped, what the hell are you moving for? I don't, I don't, I don't get it, man. I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't get it. This team is not disciplined. Um, we we should have we should have won this game. We should have won this game. Carson Wentz did everything he could to try to win this game again. Just like in the Cincinnati game. We got some more to talk about, man, this whole week. Stay tuned, man. Uh the winner of the winner of the giveaway. Hey man, I commented on your comment. Make sure you comment back. You got till Friday and I give card yours. Send it right out. But till next time, y'all already know. Yo that stay fresh.